Well, hello there, my darlings. It's me, Aiden. I'm back. <laughs> Happy Monday to you. Welcome to Let's Build the World. We're back. How is everybody doing? I hope you've all had a lovely week. Um, as you guys know, I, probably, I was away for a little bit, so I had to pre-record everything. So I'm back doing recording. It feels very strange again. It feels very weird. <laughs> few days off and you just lose all inhibitions and you come back to something thinking that you can do it and you're absolutely shit. So I'm going to be failing a lot today, most probably. Um, I hope you're all all right. I hope you've all had a nice weekend, a nice week and whatnot. Sorry, my audio is going everywhere. Um, ow, I've got a trapped nerve in my shoulder at the minute. Um, I slept on it funny when we were camping on an airbed. I don't recommend an airbed to anybody. Especially when you're used to a super king bed and it's a double. And you're trying to share it with your significant other. <laughs> but uh, ow. <laughs> at the minute, I've got a trap nerve in my shoulder. So I've been trying to do ease it. It's better than it has been. I've been doing a bit of yoga to try and get rid of it and whatnot. A um, bit of tiger bomb. But if you catch me wincing every now and again it's because it's just a little bit tight and it's hurting me and I don't know what to do <laughs> but it's gonna be it's, it gets better I've had this before um and it goes away after a couple of days so hopefully after a couple of days it will piss off and we can get back to how it was before but yes hello welcome to part one of Kudoff Manor we're going to be building the manor house that are going to be housing the Kudoff family um, so it's going to be quite spooky, I would say. We're going to go for like a Tudor style, I think, but with a darker aesthetic, not necessarily black on the out in like the exterior, maybe like a dark gray. <laughs> so black, to be honest. I still want it to try and fit in with Glimmerbrook and how we're going to be building the rest of the houses. Um, but, um... But yeah, I want a darker aesthetic going with this. We're going for like a Malfoy Manor kind of vibe, especially with the family as well. They're all a bit horrible, but apart from one, I'm going to be introducing you guys to the families tomorrow once we've got a bit of the exterior down and we can get a bit of inspiration flowing. Um, but yes, I'm just looking up at two of my acoustic foam panels and they look like they're about to fall off my wall. So hopefully they don't do that in recording because that will not be the vibe, my loves. Um, this week, we're going to be doing all of Let's Build. Apart from on Friday, we're going to be bringing a story build to the mix. I'm building a castle, a very famous castle in the UK that is haunted. And I'm going to tell you all about it, all the, all of its history. And it's going to be good. It's going to be really, really good. Uh, so yeah, story builds are back. I'm going to try and do a story build each month mixed in with other like videos and stuff, of course. Um, I'm going to be also doing my first, uh, ne I never said I would do this, but like trailer reactions and, uh, we're going to be doing that. Never said I would, but I've had a few people ask me if I ever will. And yeah, I'm going to start it. going to start it, my loves. going to start it. And then obviously we've got a speed build coming out on Saturday. And obviously tonight at 7pm BST, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch and we're going to be doing the period challenge which is where I get a tampon and I pop it up my nostril. <laughs> it's obviously not. That was just a really bad dad joke and I'm very sorry. It's going to be the kind of every room a different period challenge, but I'm going to try and make it my own. And what I'm going to try and do is kind of quarter build a house in that period and then have a quarter of the other house being in a different period. It's probably going to be a hot mess, but you see where we're going with that. And I'm very excited to do it. I very much am. Okay, I'm talking far too much. Let's get into game and let's start building. So here we are. Let me just check I'm in frame. I am. I'm in frame. Let's start building. This is Kudoff Manor. Uh, <clears throat> we've obviously got this like smaller lot here. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult to squeeze what I want on there, I think. Don't lag with me now, my love. It's not the time to lag. Um, it's right next to Nestle's house as well. Um, and then opposite um, Willow Glen, which is glowing like an absolute beacon there. Um, we've got another family house going on. Oh, shit. Sorry. 
We've got another family house going on this lot here. And <clears throat> this is going to be like almost like a little like Diagon Alley kind of thing. I want to have like a wand shop and a cauldron shop and a familiar shop. I want something like that going on there with a little bar, maybe a little like witch's pub or something. Oh, spellcaster pub. Sorry. But um, yeah, this is going to be where we're going to be putting Kudov Manor. So I want it kind of Tudor, almost Elizabethan. Um, it's going to be quite hard to like fit what I want on here, but I'm going to try. I do have a reference image of this Elizabethan Manor house. Um, I wasn't going to do a reference, Im like any kind of reference images for this, but I fear we may have to just because I want the vibe to come across quite nicely. Um, I'll pop up what I've got on the screen now so you can kind of have a little see. But yes, it's stunning. I love it. We're not going to be doing something like hugely like that because it's not as wide as what it could be. But I want that vibe. I want this like almost abbey looking build to be on here. So I'm going to go to here and then I'm going to bay. I'm going to do like square bay windows. Almost, I just always find square bay windows to be quite interesting. I really do. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> and I'm going to come out here. And then I'm going to come out three there. Stunning. The entrance, I think, will go maybe here. Yeah, maybe there. And then I'm going to come down to there. And then as soon as I've done this frontage, I'm going to put this... Um, I'm going to put this reference image away so I won't get distracted by it. Yeah, it looks nothing like that reference image, but I think we're going to go for that vibe. So this is reference image here on phone. It's going away and we're going to let our imaginations run wild today, my children. We're going to let them run wild. <laughs> okay, so, hmm, yes, maybe... Maybe I can go back a bit further here because I really want an interesting staircase to be on the side as well. Like a little like wraparound staircase maybe. So I'll go to there and I'll put that there just to mark it. Oh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. We're going to concentrate on the main exterior at the front today. I'm not going to go too far back into the actual build itself just yet. But um, we're going to make a start. How are you all? I've missed you. I really have. How have you all been? What have you been up to? Tell me in the comments. Um, yeah, tell me in the comments. What have you been up to, my darlings? My absolute darlings. Okay, so the main entrance is going there. I don't know what door we're going to use there as of yet, but we're going to give it a good old bash. We really are. And find the perfect door. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be stunning. I'm only going to go up two floors as well. So let me just get this hairier, hairier, hairier <laughs> marked out. Right, let me see if I can fit a staircase up there. I think this is going to be a little bit difficult. I don't know if we're going to be able to use a double wide staircase as much as I would like to. But let me just see. Right, and if I can... I don't want it to like, just, I just want you to go like that, my darling. Right, how wide are you? Four. And what are you there? Mm, I might be able to. I might be. Right, okay. Why? Oh. Well, maybe if I make like a little porch there, I could have that moment that I so crave. <laughs> like here. Oh, I can actually, I'm going to push that all the way back there and get rid of you. And I may put like a nice fence up here. I'm thinking about using the university fence, actually. Why will you not allow me to put that there? Oh. Uh, I told you I'm rusty. We're not going to let it come between us. <sighs> so maybe I could do... Hmm... It's not going to let me do a two wide, is it? Well, you can go to hell. So I'm going to get that back again. And then we're going to try a, a singular 
A singular number. Oh, for God's sake. I just want the stairs, darling. Not the bloody wallpaper. For goodness sake. Will you stop making a fool of yourself, Aiden? You haven't been building for four days and you're already shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, let me see if I can get a little interesting staircase moment flopping above here. Yes, that's the kind of the shit I want right there. I may even use this stone. Not in this colour, obviously, but I really love the stone. We did use it on... um. Uh, boss whiffs, but I really think it would look nice here. Do I want to? I don't want to go black. I want to go really dark gray, or maybe that. Gr yeah, like this greeny, mossy gray. <gasps> that would look great on this build. I'm gonna cover it in it. Oh yeah, that's the that is the ticket right there. Yeah, we're doing it. We are doing it. I'm gonna go up another floor. I think. I think I need a bit more drama. I need a bit more drama in my life. I don't. I hate drama. <laughs> but I think for this build, we need it. So I'm going to build... I'm going to go up a short... A short wall on the top. Don't want this build to be too massive. But it will be going back some. <clears throat> it's going to be... It needs to be a manor house. So it needs to be of a substantial size, really, doesn't it, darling, sweetie? Sweetie, sweetie, darling, darling. Yes. Yes, okay. Hopefully, the university fence that I've got in mind will fit this aesthetic. I hope it will. I'm praying it will. Where are you? I kind of see you, love. Oh, there you are. Mm, I hope with this colour look... Oh, it goes with that bottom smashingly. Oh. I've just remembered... It didn't come with a banister, did it? <sighs> Why do they do this? <laughs> Why? Oh, Sims. Sims, Sims, fucking Sims. <laughs> oh, that's going to put a big spanner up me asshole. That will. <laughs> oh. Didn't like the sound of that. Didn't like the sound of that. The visions were not there. What about if I use brown? Like a, maybe a darker brown? Nope. Want to go for a chocolatey brown, do you? Okay. <laughs> right, let me try and find something here. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but I'm going to go for the vampire staircase, I think. It doesn't fit with this at all, and it cuts in weird, but... What can you do? What can you do when things just don't work like they should in a computer game? <laughs> Apart from bitch and moan about it. That's one way to um, do it. Okay, anyway, <laughs> moving on. So roof-wise, I definitely want a gabled roof on these pieces here. But I'm going to tuck all flaps in and keep it kind of flat, I think. Should we go up quite high with it? Oh, that's giving me drama and I'm here for it. Very much here for it. I'm going to do a nice roof line on this as well. But I may... Hmm, may make this an attic. <gasps> yeah, let's do that. We'll make that an attic because what I can do is do like the half gabled roofs around the edges. Like so. All the way to there, darling. And they're going to whiffle you up. Um, they've also fixed the roof things as well. This is my first time testing it. So I'm going to test it live. What about the curvature? Oh, you're working a dream, my loves. Oh, look at you. Oh, I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, that looks a bit weird, that shape. We don't want that. We want it more. Is it still bending? Can you stop being weird? Why does it keep doing that? Oh, <laughs> I just realized what I was doing. <laughs> oh, I was doing shift and C instead of, um, shift and C instead of like control Z to, do, to make it go back again. Yes, I think this, I do. And I think on top, I'm gonna put a nice roof line on it. Like so. Oh, it's, get, it's going away from the Elizabethan look now. 
But I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that, my loves. I'm going to whiffle that up there. So it touches like an absolute dream. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm feeling that. I really am. Okay. And then here, maybe, I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try something. Are you going to work? You're not, are you? I wish you could like widen the top of the roof as well as the bottom. Like just, I wish you could do lots with this game, to be honest. Um, So maybe I'll get the gabled on first. I'm just going to get the gabled on the bay. <laughs> gabled on the bay. Like so. Oh, yes. Probably needs to be at the same height as this one. If not taller. It can't be that much taller though because of this roof line here. So maybe this one needs to be taller than the roof. Or, or there about. Oh God, no. No, this one needs to be shorter. Oh, that's a shame because this bay window is a bit more drama on this. Hmm. <laughs> um, am I even talking into my mic? Probably not. Mm, I like this look, but it's not going to work there. Maybe I need to bring this a bit more centrally into this way. Like so. Um, and there. Oh, that can't be like that now. Now, this is going all wrong here. My thoughts were, I just need to balance this out in the middle a little bit more. So if I can do this. Maybe I could make it symmetrical, but with this bay window. Give me one second. I'm just going to get this built off of camera because it's just going to be annoying for you. So I had to do a bit of whiffling off of camera. Um, what I decided to do was make it a lot more symmetrical. Um, so I've copied this bay window shape over to this side. And I that also resulted in me having to wide the build some just so it was balanced. Which I don't mind. It looks nice. But I also had to change the staircase. Obviously, this is gone now. And to be honest, I was pissed off with that staircase not matching. So we're not going to be doing that. Um, so under here, I do believe we need to flop some other windows. I'm, I mean, roof lines. But I'm thinking about doing this all the way along. Dipping this in. Can I like take you to about there? Let me have a look at that. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm not going to be like dragging flaps down on this build either. I'm going to be keeping them quite tight because I do want to do like a trim with like the, maybe I could do the university trim across there actually. The university fence, sorry. Maybe. Let's have a look. Let's try this for science because I want to use this fence because it would just fit with this build perfectly. I can't see it because I'm blind. Um, I'm just going to find it. I just tried it and no, it didn't look good. But I definitely want to use it maybe on the balcony areas. So I'm going to balcony these bay, bay windows at the end. Is that a bit too big? Let me just see the balance of this. Oh, yeah, that's a bit too big. That's a bit too big, love. A little bit too substantial. So we're going to come down to here and I'm going to do it here. Maybe I'll come out two, though. Just so it does have a bit of drama in the front. Let me have a look. Mm, no, that's a bit too big as well. That's a bit too big. We're going to keep it. We're just going to keep it like that. I definitely want to put bay window, um, balconies out the front here though, without a doubt. There we go. That looks cool. Okay. Okay, and that goes up again. We're going to get some dormers on here as well. Wondering what ones to use, but I'm not going to pick them just yet because... I do want to start picking the windows. Now, the windows are going to be a bit difficult, I think. But I think the university ones would look okay here. Um, oh, these would look really good as well. Or do they? They need a roof line on top of them. I can do that. I can do that. The balconies are not having their moment now, though. And I reckon we're going to maybe struggle to find a good spot with this. Yeah, we're going to struggle to find a good spot with that. I mean, I would love to use these, but they're like, oh, see, look at that. Would just be stunning. Would be stunning. Um, Let me find the perfect windows. 
Okay, I think I found the Windows of Dreams. And they're the base game ones. I'm sure they're base game. The Upright Window. Oh, no, they're not. My apologies. They are from City Living. And I like them because they've got that, like, worn detail on them. And I think that they suit this build perfectly. I think I might have put them a bit high there. Um, Let me have a little looky. A little look-ski. Oh, yeah, that's the windows. Yeah, those are the windows. For sure. Okay, definitely want a window up here as well, though. So maybe I could use, like, a smaller... Maybe, like, a bit more of this kind of vibe. I don't think we're going to get a matching swatch with that. What happened there? Did you see that? It glitched out. We're not going to find a matching swatch with this window, even though it is a really good window for here. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. It's too dark. Far too dark. They're going to be too warm, aren't they? And too big. It's like goldy fucking locks, isn't it? With this game. It really is. Um, What about you? Ooh. Mm, I don't... Again, it's the swatches. Mm, no, I don't really like that. I don't really like the... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like the green as well. Oh, the green's good. Yeah, this is a definite winner, I think. That's a bit too... Oh, that looks quite nice. It's a bit too big. It's a bit too big, but it's very nice. Yeah, I think we'll go for these. Whip a couple of these in just here. It's going to look a bit odd for the minute until I've done details and stuff. But I know it's going to fit okay. Yes. Yes, I'm for it. Oh, not you, my love. And you down here as well. We'll get them at that height. Maybe I could push them up a bit higher. No, I think that will be fine. Like so. All the way along here. Lovely. Oh, yes. Do I want to do them on the sides? Um. Oh, I think I do. I think I do, I tell you. I think I'm going to do them on the sides as well. Sides of the bays. Why not? Got to be done. Absolutely just got to be done. Right, and here. Yes. Okay. Okay, now a door. So we're on medium height. So we can have like one of these, which would really work here, I think. Because they do have a real darker aesthetic with a door. Oh, that's a great door. I like that door. Obviously, that's too warm. Too colourful. We want it to have drama. I mean, that's another really good door. But I think I preferred this one. Let me just get these out. I don't know. Let me get you out first. Let me have a look at you. I mean, I think this one suits the aesthetic of the house the best. This one here. And we'll go for a dark brown door as well. Do I want to... Mm, yeah, I think I do. I'm going to put... A little balcony here as well. Well, not a balcony as such. Well, it is. I think I do. With a nice window in the middle there. What window, though? That's going to be a pain in the arse. So let me have a little wonder through and see what I can find. Guys. Guess who didn't hit record again? This twat. This twat. I'm so sorry. I know it's becoming a regular occurrence. Um, but this is what we've managed to do so far. So this is what we have managed to do so far. So I've obviously balanced the build out a lot more. Um, I don't know how far we got into this build um, before I realized that I didn't wasn't recording. I'm very stressed out about it. <laughs> um, but I've kind of made changes. So I've made it very symmetrical. Um, we've used lots of dormers from university on the rooftops here and there. I've also put a nice big staircase up to the front. I don't know if I got to that part. Um, can't remember. We, we got rid of the side entrance. It just wasn't working. Um, and I'm kind of living for the vibe of this now. And two chimneys as well. Right at the front. I wanted two frontal chimneys. And I'm very much here for it. I very, very much am. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm rusty. Okay. I'm very rusty. I've had two days off and it feels like six weeks. <laughs> pretty tough. <laughs> 
So I'm going to maybe put a few of these around the top edges. Can I like go along the... I'm not going to be able to go here. Which is a shame. Can I like come out one? No, no I don't think I can. I'm going to try. I'm going to trial it for science. That's not one, Aiden. You silly bum. Go into there. Um. Oh. No, I don't. No, because I like, I love this freeze, this freeze from university. So I'm thinking, I like it up here. I like it coming here. Maybe not there though. That looks a bit weird. But I don't mind it here at the top. But I don't think I'm going to, don't think I'm going to put it around those edges at the top there. Definitely want to put some detail up there, but I'm unsure as to what yet. Really much am. Okay, so I'm going to get in some cypress trees. I think the front would look really cool. Um, mainly to hide the kind of height of the foundation. So maybe I need to go a bit taller with the cypress trees. Maybe use these ones instead. Is that a bit too tall? I fear it is. Yeah, if I can do like one there. I'm going to move this uh, build back a bit. In fact, let's do that first. Let's move the whole lot back, my love. And then that will stop me from uh, doing too much of a bigger build as well. He says as he's doing a three-story house. <laughs> but I want like a garden moment in the front. Oh, and do you know what fence we're going to use? I'm going to use that big bloody Victorian one, my loves. But maybe we could use that in a brown. What's this one? Has that got gold on it? Oh, oh yes, I think this one. It's looking very orphanage, but I'm kind of there for that vibe. Very much I'm there for that vibe. Do I want to go all the way around? I don't think I'm going to swamp the build in this whole fence, but I'll take it to there for the minute. Because I do. I don't want this to look kind of like dilapidated. I don't want it to look like abandoned or anything. I want it to look very regal still, lived in. But um, I do want it to look quite, not, yeah, kind of spooky. Kind of spooky, but not spooky dooky. Spooky dookie is a whole another level of spooky. <laughs> um, is that balanced? I mean, I've, that's as balanced as it's going to get. I wish we could move the fences like we can move the doors. Why didn't they let us do that? But, you know, Sims again. <laughs> I'm salty. I'm salty at that. I did the fact I didn't press record. Very salty. What about, a, what about like a brick fence, actually? I'm just going to try something because we have got that high. Yeah, this one. Ooh, swatches. Swatches, swatches. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. And I know they've got some ones and debugs. So maybe I'll try all that. Maybe I'll try all that. Anyway, back to tree placement. So we're going to use some cypress trees. Maybe if I do two big ones, like say maybe like one there. I mean, the house isn't balanced onto the lot because of the... Um, the um, the size of it, like I couldn't balance this out to, to this lot, which is a shame, but we're not going to let it come between us. Oh, I like that. And then size two more down and put them just by entrance of stairs. Hopefully that's not cutting into the build too much on the inside. But let me just see this. Oh, yes, I kind of like that. I fear two more need to be added. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do it on this side. <laughs> well, I could, but I'd have to go outside the lot. Ugh, I don't know if I like that. Maybe if I come in a little bit more here. Like, say there. Where's this one? We need to get this balanced. So there to there. Oh, I like that. And that is balanced. It's just because it's on the outside of the fence. Oh, I like that. Yes. Yes, queen. Yes, we're for that. We really are. But I am going to move you a little bit more like this. Is that going in anywhere here? It's not, but it's not balanced. There we go. Stunning. Yes. Okay. Right, we're missing a trim there. I can see you. So I'm going to add you now if I can copy this and just plop you up the top there. Stunning. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely, queen. Right. And then maybe on these bits here, I'm going to, they have got the university balconies, haven't they? So maybe I could add a couple of these just at the top here. Is that a bit big? I think it might be a bit big. Just there. One there. 
and then another one. Camera, fuck off. Seriously, do one. I'm not in the mood. It doesn't allow me to get where I want it to be. And I hate it. <laughs> I promise this week is not going to be about me complaining and fighting with the build mode. I promise you guys. Because it's not enjoyable to watch. Well, it kind of is for you. <laughs> but it's not enjoyable for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, that looks cool. Definitely. Could you? Could you? Did you hear that? Maybe. Can I overlap you? Without you looking too strange? Mm. Oh, I kind of like that. Kind of do, my loves. Think I'm going to do it. Yeah, I think I am. It's not perfect, but when we haven't got chat, we haven't got time to be fussy today. Yeah, I like that. Okay, definitely need some more greenery. Obviously, in the front, we're gonna do something. I don't know what yet, but we're definitely gonna do something. Um, but I think I'm just gonna carry on with the exterior details for today. <laughs> I still just can't believe I didn't record again, and I always check as well, which is annoying, and I didn't check that time. Just trusted myself and I shouldn't trust myself. I can't be trusted. <laughs> do I want to use these? I kind of do. But I think it needs to look a little bit more spooky dooky. Spooky dooky is the word and the mantra for today. That's a little bit excessive, I think. I mean, they would go okay there. I don't like that colour. Or do I? Do I like this colouring with this build? No, I think it needs to be darker. And we're not going to get that. We're not going to get that because Sims, Aiden. Because Sims. My God. I hope and pray for a colour wheel in Sims 5. If not, I'm not playing Sims 5. <laughs> if they go along with uh, swatches again, I'm not playing. I quit. I would never quit, but just being dramatic. Yeah, those two there. So maybe we could add them these up here as well. These have just got a little bit more drama. Oh, is that going to be a little bit chunky? What about if I size them down? Let's do two chunky ones at the edges, and then we'll do all of these size down going all the way along. And I will meet you when it's finished. Yes, that's giving me vibes. And I like the uh, big ones on the end there. That looks really nice. Okay, right. Um, I don't really want to get round here yet, but this is throwing me off at the minute. So I'm going to get these roof shapes here and just copy them around. Let's get down to the level we're trying to build at, Aiden. Um, I'm just going to copy them there for the sec. Just so I can get that shape flowing. And around here, I keep having to look over my keyboard to see my um, bracket keys. Okay, yeah. And then maybe, can I get you in here? Like around the edges? Mm. Or is that a bit excessive? I think that might be a bit excessive, especially because I do want to add some pillars in, which I should have done before we, um, we picked the trees so we can see what we're bloody doing. Um, I thought this coming like a... Hang on, where's Jungle Adventure? Jungle Adventure, come to come to me. Oh, it is literally this one. So this doesn't come in a matching uh, swatch to the green. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. That looks great. Yeah, I like this pillar for this house. I think it suits it. I'm not going to put them too many places. Just maybe on the bigger corners. Um... Like, I do, what I mean by that is I don't want to add them, like, with the balconies and stuff, like, here. I'm just going to put them on the actual bigger corners themselves. God, I'm starving. I've just realised how hungry I am. Uh, yeah, there we go. Like so. Let me see that. Oh, smashing. Absolutely smashing. Yes. I'm going to try and hide the foundation as much as possible with some ivy. I still like this foundation with it. It just suits it, I think. 
but I do think it needs some air. It needs some of this kind of business going on it. It really does. So I'm going to do that. We're going to do that now, actually. We're going to do it now. And then we'll start greenering, greenering of the gardens. <laughs> Je ne sais quoi is all I can say. I'm sorry. Oh, this is not going to do it, is it? Oh, je ne sais quoi. Bleh. Maybe I can like dense the ivy up to that way instead then. Stunning. And I can do it there. Can I? Can I? Please. Stop it. Right. You're going up with the 9 key. I've had enough of you. There we go. I'm going to whiff it up a little bit more. Let me just see if this can look as natural as pulse. There we go. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to work. This is going to work. There we go. I had to do that off of cam because it was there fighting with me. And we don't want fighting with me. Especially not today. Right. I'm going to add more. I'm going to really try and show off as many of these windows as possible but i do want lots of ivy on this build i think it will really suit it but i don't want to take away too much drama away from the windows you know i like the windows oh yes oh that looks great yes they're there they're there it's okay my love they're there um and you there what are you down i'm gonna go up a bit taller with this I'm going to use a bit more of a chunky boy at the top. There we go. I will whiffle it around to the sides as well. But again, I'm just concentrating on the front exterior for the minute. Okay, it needs to be balanced on that side as well. With just a little cheeky bit there. And then we'll make them a little bit thinner there. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, that's what I want. That is what I want. Okay, right. Let's have a look at these gargoyles, shall we? Um... I fear it will fit with the build nicely. But maybe just the one. Can I have like the one? Oh, that was the perfect spot. How did you do that? Was that the perfect spot? Oh. Kind of wanted it like there. I mean, I could get rid of that middle window. I don't want to get... Or do I? Do I want to get rid of that middle window? I think I might do. I think I bloody might do. I don't know. I know I'm 10 meet meters away. But I'm just trying to... I think that's the best swatch for it as well. No. No, I'm going to get that window back. I was. I wanted it... I'm going to float it up. I wanted it like there. Uh no. No, I didn't. Um. Hmm. I'm going to keep him there for the minute, but I don't think I like it there. I'm going to keep him there for the minute, though. Okay. Right. I'm getting down to this level because I do want to add in some corbels. And I think what I'm going to do is leave it for there for today. Uh, just because I'm kind of rusty. I'm rusty and I'm shuggling. I'm sorry, my loves. I'm very sorry about today. But I'll be back to my normal form. Don't you worry. Mm, is that the one? Why? Why are you going up there? Just want you there. Just there. It's not hard. There we go. Stunning. That did fuck all. <laughs> Absolutely bollocks all. But what I might do is just bring them down just a tad. See, it doesn't allow me to place them where I want them to go. Right, it's going to have to do there. And I may may just do a little bit of terrain paint or something. Oh my god, I hate this build mode so much. To like there. Is that right? No. No, it's not. But yeah, that um, non-recording vibe is there. Uh, Made me salty. And you don't want salty, Aiden. He's not enjoyable. Do you know what? Oh, first try. Lovely. First try. Did it first go. So good. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I know so many people are going to absolutely shit and lose their minds that this is not central, but we're not going to let it come between us, loves. Not going to let it come between us. Oh, I could, I could like stop those people from shitting themselves by... They've got like a debug version of this. Maybe I could do that. We'll have a look at that tomorrow. But I think this is where I'm going to end it today. It's probably a little bit shorter than usual. Um, but I just feel like I've been talking for ages and ages. And I'm going to be streaming and everything tomorrow. T tonight. So I want to kind of save my voice. But that's not looking bad, is it? That's getting the vibe. I really enjoy the vibe of that. I may whiffle around a bit with the terrain for the screenshot. Um... For the thumbnail even. But um, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. There we go, my loves. I'm so sorry about today. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. I'm a bit rusty. And I forgot to press record, didn't I? Very, very silly me. But we're going to be back tomorrow. And I promise to make it a lot longer. I'll make the episode a lot longer tomorrow. So we can get delved into this. And we'll concentrate on doing the side exterior and the back exterior as well tomorrow. As well as the gardens. We'll play around with the gardens as well tomorrow. But, um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming along today to uh, suffer my fail. But I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight. I hope to see some of your faces there. As always, we have such a laugh. We're going to be doing that period room house build challenge. It should be very fun. But until then, I will see you tomorrow, my friends. Goodbye.